Hello and welcome to our next episode of our Mining Mythbusters series with me, Lisa Conway. And me, Steve Meredith. Today we've got a cracking question for you from Robert in Scotland. So Robert asked, what are the key differences between your licensed data and your official CON29M report? Fantastic que question there, Robert. Thank you. So Steve, is it correct that the licensed data comes in a raw format? Yes, this is true. In 2015, the Coal Authority opened up the market for CON29M data and you can now license the raw data from us. Now, you can get the full suite of content United M layers, but in raw format, so this doesn't make any direct risk assessments. It just gives you the base data to be able to compile a binding report yourself. And how does that differ to our Con 29M report? Well, like I say, the base data needs a bespoke system, usually a GIS, to interrogate the data and compile it into report format. So the Coal Authority have been the holders and maintainers of the UK's National Coal Mining data set for the last three decades and we hold the bulk of the raw data that goes into making that report, some of which you can see behind me. So for instance, when we're producing our report, we use that raw data, but we use a complex 3D algorithm to calculate, for example, the zone of influence of underground workings. And this is the area at the surface that that underground working may affect. So thank you, Robert, for your question. I hope you found that interesting. If anyone has any other questions they would like to ask us, you can email them in at customerservice at coal.gov.uk and we might just make a video about it. So mining Mythbusters, until next time, thank you. Thank you.